What is up, man? 25 Gamers. In today's video, we're going to be back in the 5 2. We're going to show you how to stop uh, one of the better run running uh, formations in the game that I broke down this week uh, Halfback Search uh, in combination with the Halfback Blast. Basically, similar to Saints Power O. Uh, we use is the Fire Zone 2. That's the play we use. We like to base the line, shift our linebackers to the right, shift our D line to the left. And that's it. That's all we do um, to this play. We like to sit in the A gap with KJ right like so. And snap the ball, we're just going to go forward. We go forward here, and you see our, our uh, corners are going to be able to make that tackle. Uh, that's why I recommend having good tackling corners in the 52. Sometimes I'll put safeties there, but uh, the, B, the, the uh, Seahawks do have good tackling corners. Marshawn Lynch is just a man. Now, if you wanted to, um, what you could do is you could shoot your D-line to the left, put Browner in a deep blue zone. That would mean you need to press, though. And then you use our Thomas over the top here. And then you could just then you could just fill lanes if you want to do that. You don't have to do that. Um, that's part of you know the kind of whatever you want to do here. I like to shift it to the left and the linebacker to the right because that's going to give us that basic look that we like to use out of this D. Um, again, the idea here, if you want to, um, this isn't the best run defense. Um, the, this this one that I'm showing you right now. This is kind of the basic, and you're just going to flow to the outside and and, and try to bog with some lanes. Now on the inside, it's really pretty good run defense. If they if they try to run inside here, you know, same setup, and we'll just sit in the A gap again, and we'll just come up the middle. And you see that there, you're just kind of relying on a block shed. Unfortunately, sometimes at Madden 25, that doesn't happen. You have to kind of hedge your bets. And so we're going to show you how to do that right now. Um, that's the base run defense. It's not the best, but that's the base. And the advanced one, when you really need a stop, is we're going to base a line. We're going to spread our defensive line, and we're going to pitch our linebackers, okay? Then what we want to do is we want to take, and this is literally, guys, this is like sellout run defense. We're going to take Earl Thomas, we're going to put him right here. This creates a 5-3 look, all right? And we're just going to flow with Thomas, and he's going to be the guy who's going to blow the run up. Now, what I like to do is I'll put Chancellor where Thomas is on my depth chart so that I can use Chancellor. But since this is a formation that runs the ball a lot to the right side, then you know a lot of times they'll be running to the right but in this situation they're going to play maker to the left we're going to show you still we have that balance a 5-2-D we're just going to get out there set the edge with Thomas and, and, and just locks it all up and then real quick uh, halfback blast uh, what we like to do here uh, one sec here I effed up my setup same setup you're in the middle halfback blast you see it oh that's a pass we still have decent coverage out of the fire zone too um, but uh, real quick, let's show you the halfback blast. So, same setup. This is the sellout Rendy, where we're just kind of trying to sell out on him. So go halfback blast, and we just come right up the a gap. That's all we're trying to do. We're just trying to read the run, where it's where it's where it's called, and Thomas is literally just trying to to roam to the run play. Uh, one other thing you can do is crash your line out, reblitz both of these guys here. What this will do is it will set the edge a lot more on that search play. So now he has literally has to go back to the inside to Thomas, to our user control. So when facing read option, uh, I like to option play quarterback with this run D and really just say, hey, run the ball up the A gap. You know, they have to kind of – let me just grab a read option real quick and I'll show you that and we'll get out of here for today. But with the sellout run D, it really just locks everything because – there's no real run that can get we have all the gaps filled is basically the idea here so I think I have a read option somewhere in this playbook I know I have one of the empty bunch but I think I have some I think I have one somewhere else maybe the doubles I can't remember split biking have one maybe nope trips week yeah trips week has one I think huh guess not wow they got a jet sweep out of trips that's cool Alright, so we'll grab one. We'll look, one more formation here. So we'll just run with the empty bunch. And we'll run the read option. And we'll play the fire zone to run D. What we like to do with this is base a line, pinch the linebacker, spread a D line, remember that. And uh, what I like to do is I'll put KJ right in the deep blue and I'll put myself in the yellow. That gives me a, lot, a little better shot of still being safe against the pass. Um, you're still not going to be very good against the pass, to be honest. Um, but anyway, here's Rundy. 
You're sitting here. You got an option play quarterback, so they have to hand the ball off. He hands the ball off here. You know that, and and then you're just sitting there. The idea here is the five two is very effective for stopping the read option and any run play because of the amount of people we get in the box and the gap integrity we have. Here, the D tie, the D is going to come free, so that's going to be another thing. A lot of times they won't even give the ball to the running back. But if they do, you have two people going to the outside, and you're going to be able to lock that up. So, guys, that's the base run defense, fire zone two. Uh, real quick, I do want to show you one other thing. Uh, QB sneak run D. Uh, we need to start going over, there, over that, I guess, every video we do for run D. QB sneak. The run D uh, for that is the fire zone two again. Uh, we're just going to – here we don't need to base line if we don't want to, but it's a habit. We need to get into the habit of base line. Pitch your linebackers, uh, spread your D line. And run commit middle. The idea here is you're going to stand in the A gap and you're just going to come right up. It. And there you see, I mean, that's the idea. Now, sometimes, sometimes they can get that separation uh, without a juke, but the idea is you blow up the, the idea of the QE sneak. So, really, there, and then you're just relying on that guy to make a tackle. He flies through but just doesn't make the tackle. Unfortunately, that's sometimes the way this game works. Um, if you really want to stop QB sneak, guys, you can pinch your line and your linebackers, crash your line down like this, and then rank him in the middle. And you're just going to, I mean, this is just going to kill the QB sneak. Um, I mean, here, look, I mean, literally, like, where are you going? But the problem with that is if they do want to call power O, um, I'm pretty sure they can. I'm pretty sure it's still open if you pinch your line. That's the only problem with this. Again, you're standing right next to the center. They call power O here. And you see it's wide, wide open, wide open. Gonna go, gonna go to the house. But if we leave the line stock, the way we've been teaching in the run defense, to spread our line, pitch our linebackers, and then we just run them in the middle. We're sitting in the gap. Now they run power O. And now they're gonna have problems. You see there. So you're still decent against QB sneak, and you're also decent against power O, which in my opinion is about as good as you can ask for. Um, I uh, forgot to pitch the linebackers here, but I'll show you QB sneak again. And you're just coming right up the A-gap. Make him spin out of that. You see that? He has to spin out. So that's the idea there. That's QB sneak run D. That's run defense out of the 5-2. Tomorrow we're going to show you guys how to send pressure out of the 5-2. Thanks for watching today. Leave me some feedback in the comments below. Appreciate you guys' support. Be sure to check out some of the other videos on the YouTube channel if you have not already. Post 28 videos a week for a reason. I want you guys to watch them. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.